before death, Einstein asked not to conduct research on his body. He wanted his body to be cremated. And ashes scattered secretly. In 1955, Einstein died in Princeton. A pathologist, Thomas Harvey, was called to examine his body. But, Harvey stole Einstein's brain, and ran away. He kept it in jars, in his basement. And, studied it for 40 years. After 40 years, Harvey decided to show up and gave the brain to scientists. When scientists studied Einstein's brain, they were shocked. Einstein's brain had 17% more neutrons when compared to a normal person. Means more synapses were being fired in Einstein's brain. And also his brain was missing a wrinkle called parietal operculum. Due to this, size of his parietal lobe was increased by 20%. This area of the brain is responsible for math skills and mental images. As a result, his ability to imagine things was boosted. So we can say that, apart from his love for science, he was also lucky, abnormally. Watch about Nikola Tesla, and also, Top 10 Scientists, Who Changed the World. Don't forget to subscribe, and click on the bell symbol, to get more interesting videos.